Hi guys! So this is my video response to Anastasia Ruby's ABC name video. And for those of you that don't know, basically all you do is you go through the alphabet and you say your favorite um, name for each gender for each letter. So for A, I have Antonia and Ambrose, and Antonia is actually my number one favorite name for girls right now. It's a Latin name that means priceless. I love the meaning, and I love that you could use the nickname Annie for it. I think that's just so cute. Um, Ambrose is a Greek name that means immortal, and I think Ambrose is one of those old man names that's definitely ready for a comeback. I really, really like it. For B, I have a Beatrix and Brighton, and Beatrix is actually my second favorite name for girls, and it means bringer of joy, and I love the association with Beatrix Potter, and I love the nickname Trixie. I think it's so cute. Um, and Brighton, um, I had a really hard time choosing a B name for boys just because there's not that many that I like, but I do like Brighton. I don't think I would ever use it, but it's pretty cute, and it just means from the bright town. For C, I have Calypso and Caspian, and Calypso is a Greek name that means hidden, as well as a type of music and dance, and Caspian is a name of a character from the Narnia series, Prince Caspian, um, and I've always loved this name for that reason. For D, I have Demetra and Dominic, and I know there's lots of different spellings of Demetra, um, but this is the one that I like the best, and Demetra is a Greek name that means devotee of Demeter, who was a Greek goddess, and Dominic is a Latin name that means belonging to God, and I've always just loved the way this name sounds. I think it's a really, really cool sounding boy's name. For E, I have Elizabeth and Eliezer, and these are both Hebrew names. I did an entire video on the name Elizabeth. It means um, God is my oath. And Eliezer is the name of Moses' second son in the Bible, and it means God is help. For F, I have Francis and Finnick. And Francis used to be my number one girl's name, but since then I've found names that I like better, and Francis means free. Um, I really used to like the combo Francis Pearl. I thought it sounded very cute. And Finnick is a modern invented name um, that Suzanne Collins used in her Hunger Games trilogy. And I think it's a really cool form of, Finne of Finn. And you could use the nickname Finn. Um, for G, I have Galilee and Gareth. And Galilee is a biblical place name. Um, it's actually still a place. My mom's been there, and I just think it's a really pretty sounding place name. And Gareth is a Welsh name that means spear ruler. For H, I have Harper and Horace, and I know a lot of people have been loving the name Harper. Recently, it means heart player, and it's the name of the author of To Kill a Mockingbird, Harper Lee. And Horace is actually a name in Latin and in Egyptian. And I like the Latin spelling better, but I like that it is the name of the Egyptian sun god. I think that's really cool. It's another one of those old man names that's definitely ready for a comeback. For I, I have Irene and Ivan. And I like the Irene pronunciation. I don't like the Irene pronunciation. Um, and Irene is a Greek name that means pure, and I like this name because um, when I was little one of my favorite books was The Princess and the Goblin, and the princess's name is Irene. And Ivan is a Russian name that means God is gracious. For J, I have Josephine and Jericho, and Josephine means God will, it, God will increase, and um, I like this partly because of another literary character, Josephine March. And Jericho is my brother's middle name, and I've always thought it was so cool. Um, and I like it for girls as well, but I like it more for boys. And it means City of the Moon. For K, I have Keturah and Kingsley. And Keturah is a Hebrew name that means incense or fragrance. And Kingsley just means of the king's meadow. And I like this name because of the character Kingsley Shacklebolt from Harry Potter. That's kind of where I first heard it. For L, I have Leila and Lazarus. And I know that a lot of people would pronounce this, this name Layla, but I've always said Leila, and even if that's not the correct pronunciation, that's how I pronounce it. And it's an Arabic name that means night or black, and I like it. It's kind of mysterious. And Lazarus is a Hebrew name that means God has helped. 
For M, I have Miriam and Moses, and Miriam is a Hebrew form of Mary, and Moses is, of course, the name of the biblical character. It's an Egyptian name that means born of a god, and I think it's kind of funny that these are my favorite M names because Moses and Miriam were brother and sister in the Bible, but I just love their names. For, a, for N, I have Niobe and Nathaniel, and Niobe means fern in Greek, and um, Nathaniel is a Hebrew name that means gift of God. For O, I have Octavia and Orion, and Octavia is a Latin name that means eighth, and Orion is a Greek name that means dweller on the mountain. Um, and I think Stephanie chose this as her favorite O name as well. For P, I have Pearl and Pavarel, and Pearl is just a gemstone name. I think it is such a wonderful middle name. It goes with so many different um, names, and Pavarel is a name from my French name video. I had a hard time choosing a P name as well, um, so I just went with this one, and it means Piper. For Q, I have Quinn and Quill, and I'm not sure which gender I like these for. I like them both for each gender, um, but I think I like Quinn a little bit more for girls and Quill a little bit more for boys, but I would never use these as sibling names because that would just be really, really cutesy and kind of over the top. Um, for R, I have Rue and Rafferty, and I've talked about the name Rue a lot recently. Um, and Rue is a medicinal herb, and Rafferty is a name on my guilty pleasure list. And it's a Celtic Gaelic name that means abundance. For S, I have Sapphire and Solomon. And Sapphire is a name that I've been really, really liking lately. Um, I probably would use it as a middle name for a daughter, and um, it's just a gemstone name, and Solomon is a Hebrew name that means pure. And I started liking this name because I have a prof at university whose name is Solomon, and I thought it was just such a cool name, and he's a really cool guy, so yeah. For T, I have Zipporah and Theodore, and um, I know the, the spelling of Zipporah is kind of confusing, um, but it's a Hebrew name that means bird, and I've always loved this name. I love so many names from um, the story of Moses. This is actually the name of Moses' wife in the Bible. And um, Theodore is my favorite, favorite, favorite boy's name. It has been like forever. And it's a Greek name that means gift of God. Um, a lot of the names on this list mean gift of God. I didn't do that on purpose. Just a lot of the names that I like have that meaning. Um, for you, I had a hard time because there's not that many you names that I liked, but I ended up choosing Ursa and Ulrich. And Ursa means bear, and Ulrich means wolf ruler, so they kind of go together too. For V, I have Vivian and Vincent, and they're both Latin names, and Vivian means alive, and Vincent means victorious. And for W, I have Wilhelmina and Wilder, and Wilhelmina is a German name that means strong-willed warrior, and she's a character in Bram Stoker's Dracula, but they call her Mina, which I think is the most adorable nickname. I love this nickname so much. And Wilhelmina kind of sounds like an out-there name, but I actually know a girl named Wilhelmina, so it's pretty usable, I think. Um, and Wilder is just one that I put on this list because there's not that many W boys names that I like. Um, but it's also a German name and it means hunter. For X, I have Schokadl and Xanthos. And Schokadl is an Aztec name that means flower. And I have fallen in love with so many of these Aztec names recently. I'm actually going to do a whole video on that soon. And Xanthos is a Greek name that means golden. I think it's really cool. For Y, I have Yaritza and Yero, and Yaritza is a Brazilian name that means water lady, and Yero is a plant name that I talked about in my plant and flower names video. And for Z, I have Zahava and Zephyr, and Zahava is a Hebrew name that means gold, and Zephyr is one of my favorite names. It's a Greek name that means west wind. So those are my ABC names, and I'm really excited to watch everybody else's videos and see what names they like for each letter. And thanks so much for watching, guys, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.